today we will solve the problem uh, 7.6 uh, from chapter 7 of the Griffith uh, 3rd edition introduction to quantum mechanics. Uh, the problem 7.6 consists of two parts. Uh, now first we will see the part A. Consider a charged particle in one dimensional harmonic oscillator, uh, harmonic oscillator potential. Suppose we turn on the weak electric field E so that the potential energy is shifted by an amount H prime is equal to minus Q E X uh, so that uh, there is no first order change in the energy level and calculate the second order uh, correction. So uh, this is two things we have to calculate. One is uh, we have to prove that there is no change in first order energy level and we have to calculate the uh, second order energy correction. First, we will take the first order energy correction by definition is equal to the expectation value of uh, perturbed Hamiltonian in the unperturbed state. So, uh, this zero indicate uh, psi n0 indicate unperturbed state. That is by definition itself uh, the first order energy correction is uh, the expectation value of the perturbed Hamiltonian in unperturbed energy state. Uh, you will take H prime now it is given is Q minus Q E uh, X. So Q E we are taking outside. It's, uh, since it's not operated, these are the constant uh, and the x we are taking. So nth state I am referring just to bry n x get n. So uh, for a harmonic oscillator problem, the x is uh, by definition the operator x is defined using annihilation creation operator. You forgot this. Uh, uh, constant that is square root of h cross divided by 2 m omega. It is uh, x is equal to a plus a dagger. a is annihilation operator, a dagger is creation operator, you know. So, this expectation value is divided into two parts one is n, a, uh, n. So, when a, a act on n, it reduces its state by 1, n minus 1. So, due to orthogonality property, that will be zero. Again, you take a dagger. If you take a dagger, it increases the energy state of get vector by what? That is, n will become n plus 1. So, the inner product of n with n plus 1 also equal to zero due to orthogonal property. So, you cannot expect any change in first order energy correction. We will see what will happen to the second order energy correction. In this case, uh, there is no first order energy correction. We will see the second order energy correction. Uh, by definition, the second order energy correction is equal to summation over when n is not equal to m modulus square of m h prime get n uh, divided by n minus m h cross omega. Uh, now, uh, you introduce this uh, h prime. H prime is, uh, remember that this is modulus square. H prime is minus Q U Q E X. Uh, so since X alone the operator, I have taken X inside. Q E I have taken outside. Uh, so this is a square. Of course, since it's modulus square, I have ignored the negative side. Uh, minus uh, square is a plus. So I have taken. Similarly, I have taken this H cross omega. So within the summation, I have modulus squared of m x uh, get n divided by n minus m. Here we know by definition x is this one we have seen. 
So now you take the constant outside. Uh, then H cross divided by 2m omega. So if you take square of it, you will get uh, square root will go away. You will get H cross uh, divided by 2m omega. Summation over. Here it is very simple. Uh, you have to introduce here in, in the place of x, you have to place a plus a dagger. So first you take a. A is the annihilation operator. So it uh, reduces the energy level of the ket vector by 1. So naturally, uh, in order to have same, um, retain the orthonormal property, in order to retain same state, uh, this must be uh, initially it will be n plus 1 so that when uh, annihilation operator act on uh, this get n plus 1 it will become uh, n simply n so naturally uh, the coefficient for annihilation operator is uh, we have already established it is which is equal to square root of n plus 1 so naturally uh, this is uh, uh, valid only when uh, if this is Kranagar delta, delta m, uh, comma n plus 1. Uh, this is 1, only m is equal to n plus 1, otherwise it is 0. Come to the next operator, that is creation operator. So that means it will increase us the gate vector uh, by one level. So naturally, it must be, uh, initially it must be. Uh, one level lower the lawyer that's why uh, then only it will become zero uh, sorry the, uh, this will become one due to orthonormal property because it increases the energy level by one so n uh, get n must be n minus one then only this will become n so uh, the coefficient for the creation operator is we know very well it is square root of n so uh, this is a uh, delta m uh, comma n, uh, n minus 1 modulus square of course. Now you take the first one. First one, if you square it, you will get n plus 1. In this case, because of the Kranagar delta, n, uh, m is equal to uh, n plus 1. So minus m, m I am replacing by n plus 1. Similarly, in the case, if you square it, uh, this will be n divided by n. Uh, m is uh, n minus 1. So, in, uh, I'm replacing m by n plus 1. Now, you, uh, at the same time, uh, you can simplify this constant, which is outside the summation. So, this will be touch cross will get cancelled with this touch cross. Uh, here you will have 2m omega here 1 omega 2m omega squared this will become so this is qe whole square uh, here uh, you come to the denominator i have explained uh, this this is because m equal to n plus 1 this is m equal to n minus 1 now uh, here the first two, two term will get cancelled n minus n so here you remember there is minus so here uh, my, this will become minus one uh, that means uh, you will get minus n plus one for the first term uh, the, the second term uh, you have you have n minus uh, n minus uh, one so this n minus n will become zero this uh, minus of minus will become plus so this will become plus n now if we add both this minus n minus 1 minus n will get cancelled with this plus n uh, you will have only the minus 1 so this will become uh, minus q e whole square divided by 2m omega square so this is the uh, second order energy correction next question is uh, sorry, so next division, subdivision is the Schrodinger equation can be solved directly in this case. By change, changing the variable x prime is equal to x minus qe uh, over m omega square. Find the exact energy uh, 
uh, and so that they are the consistent with uh, better patient theory approximation. So we have to confirm this. We have to fight the excite energy and we have to prove that uh, that excite energy uh, is inconsistent in with, not, sorry, not inconsistent, it's consistent with the better patient theory approximation. So, uh, for a harmonic oscillator, uh, the Schrodinger equation is uh, minus h cross squared over 2m uh, delta 2 psi over delta x2 plus half uh, m omega squared x squared. This is the uh, related to kinetic energy. This is potential energy. Here, the, we are changing the, perturbing the potential by an amount minus qex. That's what we have seen in the part one, part A. So, uh, multiplied by psi, which is equal to E psi. Now, we have to uh, change the area variable from x to x prime in the potential energy. Because in the potential energy term only contain x. So, uh, I have taken the potential energy alone. That is half m omega squared x squared minus q e x. Now you replace x. x is equal to x prime. If you bring this to the left hand side, this will become x prime plus q e divided by m omega squared. So I have replaced the x by x prime plus q e over m omega squared whole square minus q e. This x I have replaced x prime plus q e over m omega squared. So now uh, we have to simplify this. Uh, you take first this term. This term is uh, a plus b uh, whole squared. a squared that is x prime squared plus p squared. p squared is a qe uh, whole squared uh, divided by m omega squared whole squared uh, plus 2ab. 2x prime ab qe divided by m omega squared and this term minus you bring this inside the bracket that is qe this will become qe x prime plus already there is a qe so this will become qe whole squared uh, divided by m omega squared uh, now we will uh, further simplify it so uh, now we got this uh, expression for the potential energy now you multiply the uh, first uh, bracket terms by half m omega squared. So first term will be half m omega squared x prime uh, squared. The next term, uh, this m omega squared and this m omega squared uh, will get cancelled. Only you will get m omega squared alone. The square will get cancelled with this. Of course, we have this half. So this will be become half Q e squared divided by m omega squared because the square will uh, go away by this one. And plus third term is this 2 and 2 will get cancelled. Then this m omega squared, this m omega squared will get cancelled. You will get only x prime Q e. So uh, this is about the first uh, three term. And what about this? This is q e x prime. Uh, then uh, this minus will become inside. This will become minus q e squared, uh, q e whole squared divided by m omega squared. Here we can see uh, very well that uh, this is not an operator. Operator only in quantum mechanics you are not supposed to change the order. You can see this two term. This is uh, q e x prime. This is minus q e x prime. Both will get cancelled. So this will become zero. Uh, similarly, uh, I will use different color. Similarly, uh, you take this term. That is uh, uh, the, this uh, second term. Uh, maybe I will use violet color. So this. Uh, Sorry, one minute, one minute. Uh, this term of uh, QE whole squared divided by M omega squared, this is minus 
Q E whole squared over M omega squared. If you add these two, that is R, uh, if you subtract this of uh, Q E whole squared over M omega squared pi, Q E whole squared over M omega squared, then you will get minus this one. Minus of uh, uh, Q E whole squared divided by M omega squared and this first term, this first term you, you are retaining as it is of M omega squared uh, X prime squared uh, along with this term. Now, uh, you know the Schrodinger equation, uh, initially we have mentioned the Schrodinger wave equation for this perturbed potential case is uh, equal to uh, kinetic energy plus uh, this potential energy of m omega squared x squared minus q u q e x psi. So this red color bond, this uh, potential energy term we have reduced after uh, changing change of variable we have reduced to this by this amount that is of m omega squared x uh, x prime squared minus uh, this one of q e whole squared divided by m omega squared psi e psi remember that uh, x is uh, changed by x prime that's all this is additional term that is due to uh, perturbation uh, now we will see the highlight of our result uh, now we got the Schrodinger wave equation with the energy correction. So uh, here uh, you take only the uh, first term in the potential. You bring this uh, second term to the uh, uh, right hand side. So this will become uh, minus h cross squared over 2m uh, t2 psi over tx2 plus half m omega squared x prime squared psi. Uh, so this is exactly the potential energy that is of m omega squared x uh, x uh, x prime squared psi. This is the uh, potential energy term. Uh, uh, just we have replaced x by x prime. That's all. Uh, here uh, we got uh, e plus of uh, q e whole squared divided by m omega squared. This is the extra, extra, extra energy term. So energy is added to your system by this amount. So in order to get uh, unperturbed energy, you have to subtract this one. Uh, that is, you have to subtract this amount. That is minus of uh, QE whole squared uh, divided by m omega square this is the actual correction actual energy correction what we got uh, uh, previously in the uh, part a so this matches exactly the uh, second uh, second order energy correction so uh, thank you very much for watching my video and supporting me continuously thank you very much